Hello all, in today's video we're going to talk about doing quests in, and I'm probably going to butcher this, in Ankafen's Keep, basically the Goblin Zone of Lorien's Song. So keep in mind this is in beta, anything could change um, going into live, but let me show you how to do them currently. And this is the great way to earn beta tokens, because every quest, mercenary, parson, whatever you do, is giving five beta tokens. Um, how many beta tokens are needed to get the reward? I don't know. They don't usually announce that. But what I could say is the last couple of years, it was pretty low, like 10 or something like that. It wasn't much at all. But I don't know what will be this year. So do the quest as much as you want. And hopefully they'll announce something down the line so we could be better prepared. Okay, so... If you zone in from POK from the old man, you're going to be ported by the door. You're going to just come up the hill. Over here, you look at the map. There are two NPCs. The one on the left, which is uh, Gunter. You're going to hail him. This is the mercenary guy. He's going to give you wargs, leopards, the spider. Just say kill all three. You'll be awarded all, all three. Well, not awarded, but being told to do it. The guy in the right is a partisan. He only gives one at a time. Unless you did them already, but we're going to go over number one, which is the keyword is plan. This quest is called Memories of Goblin's Enemies. And basically, I have a little cheat sheet here that I typed myself doing these quests. The first spots, actually, you know what? Um, yeah, let's just go over this real quick. The mercenary stuff, you're going to just do it as we get it. There are five area updates. I have the LOCs, locations, just waypoints to them. And then kill six unique goblins. So basically you need to kill a grunt or an axe, a bear trainer, lancer, caster, assassin, and a sword bearer. You'll see what I'm talking about as we do it. All right, let's see. Am I guys auto follow? No, the part is not. Okay, so we're off. The wargs to kill the mercenaries quest, they're right by zone in, as you see. Cross the bridge, kill eight of them. There's no point in the quest uh, later on that you need to kill wargs, so might as well just get it over with as you can. You're going to follow this path up. It's going to lead towards where the goblins hang out. Shoot. You get a bag um, when you request it. And that's this one here where you'll combine the stuff in. Okay, so here we go. It's a grunt. So nice thing that they did with these quests is for the amount of people in the group that need the quest, you will get the amount of drops. At least for Partisan 1, again, currently in beta, uh, it seems like a guaranteed drop. Mobs are not hitting that hard. Um, again, they may tune that. I'm not being very aggressive with the buttons, just letting it go. Okay, it doesn't update um, with the thing. Hold on, let me show you guys a second. It doesn't update when you loot different things. Also keep in mind 
currently I did place a bug in there, bug report. It's not lore, so you can loot multiple of the same thing and not realize it. So just make sure whenever you loot, you check the names that they're going to be six different ones. Okay, moving it up. Gonna go near the bears for the bear trainer. There's the first area update. I like to kill this guy just because he's by himself and stupid. So we'll see how much I could get done before expansion release, but my intent is to do all the quests before release and have videos out for them. Because because it's a level increase, it's going to be the best way to level is through the questing. So if folks have this information in advance, um, you'll be that much quicker. The one feedback so far that it's been given is that these zones are kind of small and initially when the expansion releases there may be bottlenecks because people are going to be fighting for drops or ground spawns or things like that. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, that's that. Next update is going to be in the barracks. That was like the stables, I guess you could call it. Okay, cool. Next update is going to be over here. Cool. What is this? this is an axe. We don't need that. We need a lancer. And a sword guy. Oops, hit the wrong button. It's really not bad, these quests, it, they go pretty quick. All the mobs that are listed here on the note, they're all like all over the place. There are some areas, they're more congested, so I'll just show you um, just for simplicity. I really should have set a campfire to make things go queer. Okay, here we go. 
Next update is right here. So the assassins, they're in abundance in like the jail area, uh, all the way in the bottom floor. So you go in and you just drop down. Let's see if we can find one by itself. Oh, they have corpses here. Oh well. Looks like repops. Let's just hit for it. These is nice and clustered. Okay, got the next drop. And the last one I'm going to need is from casters. I think uh, someone was killing here and I just happened to hit repops. Yeah, someone running around. Okay, that's dead. So there are a bunch of wizards um, in the upper part of this keep, but I want to show you guys uh, the wizard area because it's near the other mercenaries. So. I guess when I'm doing this on live, I'm going to do it in this way just so I could knock everything out uh, together. All right, so from the bottom area, you're going to go up and you're going to get out on the uh, east side. Oh, yeah, east side. So you scroll out on your map. This upper area um, is where the wizards are at. So straight out. This is going to be where the leopards are. So you kill those. There's no quests that involve killing the leopards. So whenever you see them, just get them and be done with it. All right, so we're going to make our way north. There is a quest later on that you do need to kill like a bunch of these wizard caster type thing so congestion wise it's going to be best to kill here so you don't need to repeat and kill needless things and the last area update is going to be right up there as well
Okay, there we go. Do not combine it yet. Um, actually, you could, but no. Yes. You could combine it. All right, let's get the last area update. Okay, there we go. So now we return the sack to the guy. So real quick, we're going to pass where the spiders are. If you look at the map, just the southeast part of the zone, there's a bunch of spiders there. The There is a partisan quest that asks you to kill a spider, but you only need to kill one. So, yeah. I would kill all the spiders here um, for your mercenary just to get it done with. But just like right over here, where my mouse is on the map, you'll see a bunch. And they're weak, so you could just kill them really quick. And spoiler, that's going to be good for evolves. So, yeah, take care of that. Looks like there's some people hunting here already. All right, NPCs are just down below here. Let me just bring my guys down here so that they're not floating. Okay. Turn in the bag. Now he's gonna do this bunch of talking. Talk to the goblin in the cage next to him. Okay. Now retrieve a dwarf jerky. This is a no kill step. It's just an area update. So I do have the location in there. It's basically gonna be in the barracks. In this building here, in the basement, you'll see. Well, kind of not the basement, but you'll see. Like, let me just show you, for example. I type slash waypoint and then the location that I have there. It's going to place an X in there. It's marked like kitchen or something. If you're closer, it might make the path, but uh, yeah, that's it. You're going to go in the barracks, you're going to go up the stairs, into the front, at the very front, make a right turn down the ramp, into this here, just follow it down the ramp more. Okay, this is the kitchen, this area here is the area update, there we go, got the jerky. And now turn it. And that's pretty much it. Just give the jerky and then a hail. I will break Partisan 2 and Partisan 3 into separate videos. This way it's easier for folks to just look it up uh, by name. Oh, sorry. Got to give the jerky to this guy. Okay, boom. And then you'll see you get the beta tokens. Uh, you click it to reclaim it. It is a inventory click, so we'll do a search for beta. 
and then you just click it and then you know when you go to old man you could ask him how many beta tokens you have I should have enough by the amount of times I've done this but it doesn't do any harm it it attaches it to the account all right so that's it for parson one memories of the goblins uh, enemies um, super easy you don't need to run out of zones six kills only and a bunch of area updates all right thanks all I'll see you in the next video bye bye